Hey guys, happy Sunday. It's me, Savvy Maggie. Um, here, I'm going to do a DIY for you guys today. But first, I wanted to come on and talk about the giveaway. Um, because I have reached 50 subscribers, I am truly grateful to you guys for that. So thank you all so much for um, new subscribers and people that have been with me since the beginning. I do want to thank you guys again for that, um, for all the love. Um, took the faux locks out, just... Got on a little wig I made probably around Christmas or something. And it is so long. I don't even really wear long hair like this anymore. But anyway, um, got that little, you see that little lamp over there hiding in the corner? I've got a little giveaway file over there. Um, but anyway, I'm going to do a gift basket for um, you guys. I think what I'll do is have you guys comment on my your favorite video of mine. And um, I want you guys to leave some comments on what you would like to see from me. Um, I did start this as a DIY, like a, a, um, a home improvement channel. But as you guys do know, I'm a hairstylist. So I um, had a small little blog a long time ago. And all of my clients wanted me to do a blog vlog type of thing so you know give me some suggestions on what you guys would like to see um i'm going to do a diy today i'm going to do a fur bench um the easiest cheapest fur bench you guys have probably ever seen okay so hold on and we'll get started so the two items we will be using to do this diy is a five dollar uh, shaped shag rug from Five Below, and I paid $4.99 from this cute little stool that I got from the thrift store. So, we will need these two items and staples. I'm not going to take the legs off. I'm not going to spray them because they are in really good condition. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so, got my staple gun the fur rug, and the bench. What I'm gonna do is try to do this without any glue. I'm going to, first let me measure it out. I'm gonna tuck those little corners right around the bench. And I'm gonna staple right along there and I'll probably cut this off. Because like I said, this is just a quick, easy little bench. Got a little piece there. So let's see if I actually have enough to pull it down just a little bit because we want to go as taut. I'm gonna pull it as taut as we possibly can. And on these corners, I'm just simply going to tuck and staple. So Get started. I'm using, I think these are and see you're not going to worry about getting it perfect because you're just going to pull, let's pull that staple out. I should really be using the upholstery staples but I don't have any and I really want to get this project done. And these are going to work just fine because this is not wood. It's just regular material. So pull that up. I'm going to come right on the edge. So we're going to staple. Now I am using quite a bit of staples because I really want it in there. And you're just going to fluff that fur right there, nice and secure. And I probably will come in and just cut right along. Again, we're going to come in here, fold this in like you would do if you were doing a gift. I'm just going to take it right there. I'm going to 
fluff that fur out and you won't see it at all. I'm gonna come in right along there. And I guess I'm just gonna staple that down because no one should be looking underneath my bench anyway, huh? And I just may wanna pop this off and reuse this rug. So how about I won't cut it <laughs> because you never know. Like I said, I may want to take that off and reuse the rug one day. This is what works for me. You may want to do something a little bit differently for yourself, but this is working for me. <laughs> and if you want to do just a quick and easy fur rug, 10 bucks, and hopefully you will take some inspiration from this one. You don't have to do it exactly like I am. You may want to cut and spend a little bit more time with it, but I don't. I want to do this as quickly as I possibly can because today is Sunday and I actually have a few more projects that I want to complete today. And because I told you guys I'm going to do that giveaway, now, since I've told you that, it's recorded, I can't take it back. I also have to get started on that. So, let's do this. Come in here. I'm just going to turn it to face me a little bit more. Because now I have that really thick. I'm going to go upside down with it. Pull it as taut as I possibly can. Yeah. Let's get right down underneath into the existing store. Okay. And we're just gonna keep going all the way around. And because this was a bear shaped rug, it's not gonna lay as even underneath because you know it's already been cut into a shape. Let's keep going, turn. And this is coming together very nicely. And yeah, I'm glad I didn't cut it because you never know. I just may go under this with another piece of fur and cover the bottom as well. You never know. I'm gonna come in right around that leg. Staple these together. And if you want, you can always go in with a little tacky glue, with a little fabric glue first. But I like this. I'm going to go probably, ooh, maybe Joanne's one day this week and get upholstery staples and go over it. I am just to keep it, make it a little more secure. Because of course I want people to actually be able to sit on it without pulling the fabric, which you can now. You definitely be able to do that. Especially with <laughs> all of these staples that I'm using. through here and these staples are they won't go through the other part of the bench this bench has a lot of padding to it which is one of the reasons that I didn't get it because it was in such good shape to be five bucks Look 
you there. I can't believe I'm standing this bench up on my table, but I am. Wow, that came out beautifully. Okay. 